Welcome everybody to this video cheat sheet where we're going to be enabling PIM sparse mode on our network. We're going to start off with the baseline show commands of show IP PIM neighbor and interface to see if PIM's already been configured on our routers. And then we're going to enable the debug command, debug IP PIM, so we can see how things unfold when we enable PIM sparse mode on our network. And then we're going to finish up with the verification show commands of show IP PIM neighbor and interface to see how things have changed now that we've enabled PIM sparse mode on our network. Let's take a look at the network topology. We're going to be enabling PIM sparse mode here on the link between router 2 and router 3. Also we're going to be enabling PIM sparse mode on this link right here but router 4 has already been pre-configured so we're really only going to be looking at closely router 2 and router 3 and this link right here. So let's go ahead and get started. Start off with the show IP PIM neighbor and show IP PIM interface. And this right here is the interface on router 2 that goes over to router 3. So let's put in those two show commands or baseline commands. And as you can see, we have the columns for the output of these two show commands, but there's nothing there. So that tells us that PIM is not enabled on the interface. And since it's not enabled on the interface, naturally we do not have any neighbors. So let's go ahead and enable our debug commands so that we can see how things unfold as we configure PIM sparse mode on our interfaces. Now if you've followed the other video cheat sheets where we've configured dense mode and sparse dense mode, uh, you'll recognize this command. All you do to configure sparse mode under an interface is you execute the command IP PIM and then you choose what type of PIM mode you want. And in this case we want sparse mode. And that's all there is to it. Once again, under the interface, IP PIM, sparse mode. This is the interface that goes over to router 3, and this is the interface that goes over to router 4. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in real quick. And we can see we, we're starting to have some, some, some PIM action here over on the link over to router 3, and then also on the link over to router 2. So let's go over to router 3 and we're also going to configure on the link that goes back to router 2. Once again we're going to be on router 3 so this is the link that goes back to router 2. We're also going to configure PIM sparse mode. Router 4 has already been configured with sparse mode so we're just going to worry about it on this side and as we can see we already have a neighbor adjacency up on the interface over to router 2. But Let's go ahead and verify that with our show commands. We're going to do a show IP PIM neighbor and interface on router 3 here. And with our show IP PIM neighbor command, we see that we have a neighbor up to 2 going out the interface over to 2. And with our show IP PIM interface command, we see that we have a neighbor count of 1. And our mode is sparse. So let's go over to router 2 real quick. And we'll do the same two show commands, show IP PIM neighbor, where before we did not get anything from that output because we had enabled any sparse mode at all and now we've enabled um, we didn't enable any PIM mode at all but now we've enabled PIM sparse mode. So I'm going to turn debugging off here and now I'm going to execute my two commands the neighbor and the interface so that we can see how things have changed here for router 2. And we can see that we have a neighbor adjacency now over to 3 and that, and uh, for the show IP PIM neighbor and then for the show IP PIM interface we see that we have a neighbor account of 1 sparse mode over to 3. So that is how you configure IP PIM sparse mode. You do it underneath the interface with this command right here. So we started off with our baseline show commands of show IP PIM neighbor and interface to ensure that PIM had not been configured yet on our network. We enabled our debug command so that we could see how things unfolded as we enabled PIM sparse mode on the network. And then we verified with our show IP PIM neighbor and interface command that we did now have neighbor adjacencies and that there was truly sparse mode on the interface.